This is insane for Bitcoin, but it is happening, guys. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. In today's video, amazing news from Germany, aus Deutschland. Yes, also looking into the Bitcoin charts as we touch 67K. What is the next target for Bitcoin? Yes, I was right all the time. So you should have been buying around 58K again. Now, let's also look at an inspirational quote and a crypto tip for today. Quickly jump into the news first and I will keep it short today because I have a lot of work with ddbambam.me. In Germany, a very big company, Samara AG, in Deutschland they sagen AG, something like that. This company just announced they are gonna create $30 million worth of bonds to add more Bitcoins to their storage. They are copying the system that MicroStrategy and Michael Saylor have done, using Bitcoin as their reserve capital, not fiat shitcoins. Samara AG has at the moment around 450 Bitcoins, and their goal is before the end of this year, thousand bitcoins and yes this is just one example of one of the companies that are copying the model that microstrategy made there for them because all the companies in the future will understand the more they store their capital their reserve capital of their company in bitcoin the harder their company will grow if they will keep their hard-earned capital in shit coins like euro or dollar the slower their company will grow because of inflation and all other pressures that governments and central banks are pushing up more uh, up then that will make their capital disappear in smoke so you make shitloads of profits you put them in euros and then the government and the central bank will make sure you will be able to buy less and less and less and less with those euros so your company is not growing if you take the other model, the Bitcoin model, the Bitcoin standard model, the model we as a family have been living on already for seven, oh no, more, almost eight years, then all your hard earned money put in Bitcoin will make sure your capital will keep growing. And it doesn't matter anymore how big the inflation is that the central banks or the governments are creating because your capital is outperforming that inflation. If the inflation is 4%, Bitcoin is making 40% a year on average. C-A-G-R. So that means even if the inflation would be like 30%, you still would be 10% of profit if you calculate the C-A-G-R in Bitcoin. So more and more companies start to understand it. Now, more and more individuals should start to understand this as well. You are not different than a company. You have your income, you have your savings, and you have, of course, your cost, your monthly cost. Of your income, you pay all your monthly costs, and what you have left over at the end of the month, if you still have something left over because of all the inflation, maybe not at the moment, but if you have something left over, don't put it in your savings account or your bank account in euros because that's like destroying your purchasing power. You should put all those savings in Bitcoin, which is increasing your purchasing power, which will increase the speed of you creating generational wealth for your children and all the next generations. That is the news for the day. Companies are now leading by example. You should always follow the money. And the money is at the moment flowing big time into Bitcoin. Companies are doing it. Countries are doing it. Governments are doing it. Institutional investors are doing it. Even presidents are doing it. So you should be following the money and the money is flowing into Bitcoin. Simple as that. Now, short but powerful news item, but I love that in Deutschland, yes, we machen auch Bitcoins, ganz viele Bitcoins. Ja, als Reserve. Good, my Deutsch is super. Now let's jump into the charts to show you the effect of all of this on the Bitcoin price. Bam. The first chart for today, guys. Yes, look how beautifully that chart is playing out exactly how I thought you it would be playing out. Check that green line. I told you guys we will go up to that yellow line. You'll probably pull back and we will go up again and break it. We are now breaking that yellow line. And from this moment on, guys, we need to keep support now above that yellow line, 65,740. Around that area, if we 
keep the price above this area that's very positive we can even continue higher again to you know you see the wick wick went all the way to 67 maybe even continue that because this is like the last resistance we have for some time and then it will take a little bit longer to run into the next resistance levels that will be a little bit higher but you can see this resistance here at the moment is the resistance we need to break guys if we break that it's free run to 70k so let's see if we will pull it off this week. But I told you yesterday's video, I believe we will have a bullish week. And yes, the week started very bullish. And I told you that. Why? Because I said to you yesterday, look at that wick. Tiny body, big wick to the bottom, smaller wick on the top. This is a bullish candle. We will go and try and test that green line again. That's exactly what I said to you yesterday's video. And where did we go exactly? To that green line and a green line is 66,700 ish we need to be breaking that and closing a candle above that to become more bullish that's the most bullish thing that can happen at the moment to go with a candle close above that one and this is a weekly chart guys so this is going to close in five days so if this candle will pull it off that would be amazing but we can also have the next candle pull it off that would also be still pretty damn fine and if you look at the bottom we can see that the MACD, that red bar on the bottom, is becoming smaller and smaller. That blue line is kissing that red line already, that wants to cross that red line. Then the MACD will turn green, and that's very bullish. It's just amazing to see these wicks look, the big wick here. These big wicks, they all mean there's a lot of buying pressure. We want to go higher, higher, higher. And it won't take long before we will arrive at the 70k, 80k, maybe even 90k levels before the end of 2024, guys. So yes, you should have stepped into Bitcoin. When I told you again in that last dip here at that red line. I told you that red line has been supported all the bull markets. It was 54k. You should be buying. You should add to your portfolio. I hope you did, because then now you are in profit. Now. Uh, I have some other amazing charts as well that are these charts. I will keep it a little bit short today because I'm just really, really busy. Um, this chart is a very interesting one. At the moment, we spent 1,705 days between $10,000 and $100,000. In total, we spent 1,115 days between $1,000 and $10,000. 1,300 days between $100,000 and $1,000. 300 days between 10 and $100 and 40 days between one and $10 guys. It won't take long before we get this next category from 100,000 to a million dollar. This is the next category we will move into and it won't take long. I don't believe that it will take more than 300 days. I don't think we will reach 2000 days before we had the first touch in this level over here guys in the 100k plus level of course i'm telling you i believe 90k will be the top of 2024 or 95k or 94k something like that but we can drop again in 2025 beginning but in 2025 we will make our first entry into this section the bitcoin price between 100k and 1 million us dollar just imagine how beautiful that would be then we have this chart, there's a monthly chart, also showing you, look, how strong this area is becoming. A support area around 55 to 60K, that became a very strong area. And that was exactly the resistance area of the previous bull market top. The previous bull market top, I don't know if you still remember, but the previous bull market top that was facing a shitload of resistance at these levels over there. That was a 60, 70K level. And now we are turning that one into support with large wicks, even on the monthly, large wicks. Look, these wicks, there's all buying pressure. This is gonna explode tremendously, guys, to that 160K level in 2025. This is not bearish, this is bullish. Then we have this one. This one is also really interesting. On this chart, you can see uh, the Bitcoin cycle bottoms compared to where we are now. The bottoms were over here, like completely on the left. Then we can see this is now the 100K level. And that dotted red line. So if we would like copy the 2018 to 21 bull market or the 2040 to 17 bull market, the blue or the yellow line, we would easily surpass 100K if you would copy one of those. Even if you would underperform the blue and the yellow line, so we would only like get to this level over there, we would still 
break that 100k level. We'll end up around 126,000 US dollars line, maybe a little bit higher to 160. If we underperform the two previous markets, we can still end up in that area, guys. Now we are now here with that black line. That's the current cycle. This is a double top from the previous cycle. Now we are creating here a new top at 74k. And now we want to go into this massive run that those previous two bull markets did as well and break that 100k level. That is where we are, exactly at that point. So yes, I'm very bullish on Bitcoin for the next 12 to 15 months. I am very bullish. This will take all the way till the end of 2025, just like those other cycles took to the end of their cycle year. This will take to the end of 2025, guys. I hope you really enjoyed the charts, guys. Yes, it's not a green screen behind me. Look, I can even move. Even if I move, the camera keeps tracking me, so you can see it's not a green screen. It's like, it's really, it's my garden. This whole part is my garden. That's where I swim. It's my swimming pool over there. <laughs> no, that's not my garden, guys. Um, guys, I hope you really enjoyed the charts. If you did enjoy the charts, then give it already a thumbs up, guys. Yeah, short term, beautiful volatility. As you can see over, bam, here, I took a beautiful trade. I think it's like 20% in profit or something. I also posted this trade, of course, in the VIP group. And if you want to become part of that new VIP group, then you need to go to ddbambam.me. So, yes, Didi bam bam dot me that's the place where you need to be because there you will get all the access to a vip now oh, that was rhyming maybe we need to make a song about that guys jurgen from the team we need to make a song b d d bam bam me yes that's the way to go and become a vip <laughs> something like that guys but i hope you really enjoy the short-term volatility because that's also tradable that means profits also the bot performing pretty well at the moment uh, yes long term just zooming out i told you relax it will take an average 170 days after the halving and there will be a moment that there will be an event that will make the Bitcoin price pump up again and then there will be another event pumping it even higher and then again the new presidential elections will be there and it will pump it even higher guys. So I don't think that you understand in what phase we are now. I told you, we were in the accumulation phase and there will be a moment we will break out of it and we will go to that 80 to 90k level before the end of 2025. Christmas presents, beautiful Bitcoin price, 95k, something like that. And yes, there will be a dip again and another opportunity for you to buy in the first quarter of 2025. And then at the end of 2025, guys, yes, the ultimate bull market top above 100K. I believe 120 to 160K, that is the range you should be taking profits. But if you join me at the VIPs, I will guide you through that taking profit and buying back at the bear market bottom, guys. Now, let's jump in the crypto tip for today. The crypto tip for today, of course, is chilling my own project or the project that I support or back, however you call it. I'm not the founder. It's ddbambam.me. Seed round one has closed. Very successfully, we raised the capital that we targeted to raise. Seed round two just opened. That will be the last seed round. After seed round two, no other possibility to join the ddbambam.me platform without being an OG or VAP. Of course, after the seed rounds, we will do a public fair launch where everyone will be able to buy the tokens. And don't be afraid because all the people that bought in the seed rounds, their tokens will be locked, etc. This is not going to be a pump and dump scheme. This is going to be a group of OG VIPs of ddbambam.me creating an educational platform, not trying to make pump and dump tokens over here just creating a cool micro economy that we as a community can have our own token the dd bam token whatever it will be uh, that is still a surprise of course and then with that token of course we can do all kinds of cool stuff in our new telegram app in the new telegram vip groups uh, products that you can buy on the store blah blah a lot of things guys so be aware seat round two just opened you can still get in and become a vip and get voting rights and get proposal rights and all of that in the dd bam bam platform guys so that's my crypto tip for today go to ddbambam.me and check out what we are doing over there and the quote for today guys is yes a very simple one but a one that is uh, i think created in thailand what we think is what we become buddha now very simple guys 
A lot of people get stuck in a vicious circle and they can't escape that vicious circle because they think very negative about themselves, about their life, about their surroundings, about their job, about everything in life. You keep thinking negative. What you think, you become. If you keep thinking negative in that way, you will become even more negative. You should break that circle. Just like we as a family broke the circle of the hamster wheel, the normal way of thinking when it comes to working and savings, we broke it to get into a new circle. And that new circle was called Bitcoin for us, but that circle created a shitload of opportunities for us and changed our life completely. So we started to think we are the Bitcoin family. We can live on Bitcoin. It is possible. We can be unbanked. The world will adopt Bitcoin. Bitcoin will be the new world reserve currency. Bitcoin will become that thing that we think that it will become in the far future. So let's just live the Bitcoin standard. So we became what we thought. And that's why I like that powerful quote of Buddha. What we think is what we become. It's simple. Start to think positive every day. Wake up. Be happy, you're alive. Look at your wife, she's alive. She's breathing, she's healthy. Your kids, they're alive, they're breathing, they're healthy. Yeah, Juna maybe not that healthy today because she did a stupid thing yesterday for like uh, a reel. <laughs> so she felt really hard on her neck. I don't know if they, if they are gonna post the bloopers, but like I was like, wow, uh, guys, take it easy. It's not that important, but think positive. What we think is what we become. If you want to become successful, think successful. If you want to become less fat, think less fat. <laughs> if you want to get a new job, start to dream and think about your new job. If you want to change your lifestyle, start to manifest and visualize that new lifestyle. Just imagine if you want to be in Thailand, for example, walking next to me on that beautiful beach in the morning and drinking a cup of coffee at a beautiful beach bar. Just start to think. What you think is what you become. So stop all the negativity. Stop thinking about all those negative situations. Stop thinking about all the shit that the mass media is throwing into your throat that you can't have any influence on. They can talk about wars. They can talk about viruses. They can talk about presidential elections. They can talk about black and white. They can talk about hate and LMBTQ and all the shit you don't have any influence on, why would you pay attention to all the negative shit if you can also pay attention to your dreams, the positive part of your life? And start to think what you want to become because what you think is what you become. That was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment, let me know down below what you think about the news in Deutschland, what you think about the charts in my living room, and what you think about what you want to become. Yeah, let me know down below. What do you want to become? Thanks for watching. I wish you an amazing day and see you tomorrow again. Bam.